what's up guys my name is Ahmad Austin with A Austin Art and I have a got my laptop here I don't know if you guys can see it oh it's flipping down a little bit but I have my laptop here I got a question from one of my members uh, Marlene uh, Prater I hope I'm saying the last name right uh, Prater what's up Marlene um, I got an email from Marlene and she's in the academy Palette Knife Academy where I show you a whole bunch of videos well I have a vid bunch of videos showing you how to paint with a palette knife and using acrylic uh, She's in the academy, she just joined, and she sent me an email, and I want to share that email with some of you guys here on YouTube. Um, I'm going to go through the, the questions that she asked, and then I'm going to show a quick demonstration referring or answering her questions that she asked. Uh, the first question she asked was, are you using a flat part of the blade or an edge? Uh, I use both, so um, I'm going to show a little bit about that. Um, she said, I seem to end up lifting paint off the, uh, I guess off the canvas. Uh, the next question, what kind of pressure do you use? I use, mostly use medium pressure. Um, all the time I use a lot of uh, hard pressures when I'm um, when I'm uh, trying to get a certain feel, a certain look, or when I'm trying to create uh, texture. But uh, most of the time I just use uh, medium texture. It's kind of like I'm adding icing on a cake. Uh, the next one is my knuckles are adding paint where I don't want it. Am I holding the palette knife wrong? Uh, my guess you may be, um, I'm not sure why you get a lot of paint on your knuckles, but uh, I'm going to show you how I hold the paint, how I hold, how I hold the palette knife, and you can kind of get an idea from that. Um, do you go back and touch up? Of course I do. A lot of times I don't get defined lines when I'm painting uh, straight lines, so I have to go back. Or sometimes when I'm painting layers and I miss a spot, or if the, canvas is, the, back, the back part of the canvas is showing, I have to go back over it. So, of course, I go back and uh, clean up and touch up. Uh, what paint are you using? Uh, when I first started out, I used the Liquitex uh, Basics. Um, it's an inexpensive paint, but it's a nice thick paint. But now I'm starting to move towards Golden. I like the thickness of Golden. Uh, golden brand is just a great brand to use. There's other many brands out there as well. Heavy Body Liquitex is great too, but um, those are the two. If you don't want to spend that much money when you first start off, I would say Liquitex Basic is a good place to start. And then when you want to get a nice rich feel, uh, you feel comfortable with your mixing, you feel comfortable with the paint, you're painting better paintings, um, your, your skill of painters are getting better. I would say move up to Golden. Golden is just an awesome brand. Um, I love the thickness, I love the milkiness of it, so um, check out Golden. So those are the questions. So what I'm going to do is sit my laptop over here, get my easel, and I'm going to kind of give you a demonstration. I'm just going to answer her questions, but I'm going to show you what I'm talking about more so with the um, canvas in front of me. So here I have a black canvas and I'm going to go ahead and get started. So here we go. Alright guys, now that I got my easel set up, got the camera kind of zoomed in on this, I outlined the flower just to kind of give you guys an idea. So I'm going to answer her questions while I uh, paint this flower. I might not paint the whole thing throughout the video, but I'm just kind of going to give you an idea of um, answer some of the questions that Marlene asked. Uh, Marlene, again, I appreciate you asking these questions because uh, not only do you have the questions, the same questions, other people who take the academy and who watch some of my videos have the same questions. So the first question is, are you using, I'm looking at my laptop, are you using the flat part of the blade or the edge? Most of the time, I use the edge, the flat part of it. So my palette knife has paint on it, dried up paint, that's okay. I use the flat edge, so I'm going to show you a little bit. Here I'm going to mix a little white. A little bit of black, give a gray tone. And right here while I'm mixing, I'm using the flat edge of my palette knife. Get a little bit more white. And I'm just going to show I'm going to use the flat part of it. Just kind of do like that. Go around the edge of it. And if I have to turn my wrist, I will to get around this circle. I'm going to use the tip of my palette knife. Kind of get in this corner right here. Again, if I need to turn my palette knife however I need to, I will just to get around those edges. And I'm getting right up on this circle right here. And I'm using the flat part of my palette knife. So mostly I use the flat part. And I'm just painting my background. Again, getting up in the edges. If I go with my line, it's totally fine. Get some more paint. Hope you guys can see that. Go around. I turn this way, turn my palette knife the same way the uh, the leaf is going. I'm using the tip of my palette knife like that. Get 
get some more paint. I'm going up with down motion right here using the tip of my palette knife. And you should notice I don't have a lot of paint on my my uh, my palette knife as well. I'm getting right here, so I'm going to turn. Sometimes I have to go back and forth, as you can see. Whichever way I need to to get comfortably, you know, get comfortable while I'm painting. So I don't turn my wrists all kinds of ways, my arm all kinds of ways. So I kind of go left and right. Uh, some people paint better sitting down. Some people paint better standing up. Depending on what am I doing, you know. Most of the time I try to stand up and paint. Um, but if I'm painting with paper, a lot of paint on paper, a lot of times I paint sitting down just because it's paper. Unless I get a clamp, you know, I clamp it on the board or something to hold it up. And again, I'm just turning my palette knife. My canvas is kind of turning a little bit. I'm just turning my, and I'm using the flat part of my palette knife. And I'm spreading my paint on around like that. Okay. The next question she asked was, what kind of pressure do I use? If you notice, I don't use a lot of pressure, and I'm just kind of laying it down that way, making sure that my paint get on the canvas. Uh, I'm letting some of my black, ground, black background show. I don't have to, but for this particular paint, I'm going to cover it up. I could go where I let some of it show. And I'm just using medium pressure. And you kind of hear my palette knife scraping the canvas. I love that sound. If you see some of my previous videos, I love the sound of the palette knife scraping my canvas. And I'm just going up and down, up and down. Some of the gray is uneven, which is totally fine. If you know you got light gray, kind of medium gray, that's totally fine for this particular painting that I'm working on. I'm just going, putting it in. And I always tell everybody, it's kind of like I am putting icing over a cake. Here's my icing. The canvas is my cake. And I'm just laying icing on the cake. And I'm just filling the icing inside these areas. Right in here. If I turn my palette knife this way, that way, whatever. The next question she asked, let me go over to my laptop. Um, my knuckles are adding paint where I don't want. Am I holding the palette knife wrong? Um, I don't know how she's getting paint, how you getting paint on your uh, knuckles. Uh, when I when I was getting paint right here, I got paint this turquoise paint on my finger just because I was grabbing that. But when I'm painting, I pretty much don't have it because I'm holding my palette knife. Uh, how do you say like a microphone almost? I put my thumb on the blade right here. And I just kind of move like that. Okay? And I'm kind of a little bit away. And I just let my knife touch my canvas that way. Okay? Going back to the first question, do I use the edge of the palette knife? Sometimes I do, right on the edge right here. Getting on these lines. When I want a nice clean line, I might turn my palette knife to the edge. And just go like that. Nice clean look right here. Sometimes I scrape the paint, depending on what kind of look I'm going for. And a lot of times I use the tip of my palette knife, going back to that first question, if I want to outline something. Let's say if I want to outline this flower here with a turquoise. I use the tip of my palette knife like that. Use the edge and the tip. Sometimes I turn my knife around too, just to kind of get a nice grip on it and nice control of the palette knife. See? Voila. And I can just kind of go around and do all of it. Matter of fact, I will. Here I'm just grabbing this tip of the got a little bit of the paint. Is it sloppy? Yes. Do I care? No. I can always come back in and clean this up. And I'm just outlining my flowers with the tip of my knife. Just get a little bit. And 
There you go. Voila. All right. Next question. Make sure my camera's still rolling. Next question. Do you go back and forth to touch up? I sure do. Uh, if you notice this black hair showing, what I would do is go back in, get some more gray, get a little black, try to get the gray that I had. It's a little bit too dark. Hope you guys can see that. Get a nice gray. And I want to fill in these black areas that are showing. Now sometimes, like I said before, sometimes I let the background show just to give a whole new look. But for this particular demonstration, I'm going to go back in and cover it up. So that's what I do. I go back in and cover it up. Go back in and fill in these areas. If I want to help define the shape, like this, this uh, leaf sticking out right here, I go back in and line it up so I can define the shape of the leaf like that. And I'm using the tip of my palette knife. Got my finger on the blade, tip blade, holding it with my fingers and just kind of going in like that. If I want to add texture, I can while the paint's still wet with the tip of my palette knife, which I love. If you notice in my jazz music, you see a lot of that. Uh, the next question, what kind of paint do you use? Right here, I have some, uh, uh, this paint right here is uh, Liquitex Basic. Let me show you a tube right quick. It's there right here. It's uh, not that expensive. You can get it at Michael's or you know, your local um, art supply store. Um, this is a big, nice tube. Um, if you're first on off, I would suggest this this brand, Liquitex Basic. Right now, I'm moving, I'll have them moving to Golden. Here's some Golden right here. Uh, this heavy body is milky. It feels good when you paint with it. You can tell the difference between this one and uh, versus the Liquitex Basic. Um, I love Golden. So, if you are comfortable painting, you improve your skills, Golden is the way to go. Love it, love it, love it. Next, I will go with Liquitex Heavy Body Acrylics. There are some other brands out there too, but these are the ones that, that um, are provided at the local art stores near me. I know when you go to other cities, they have different brands, but I would just go with these right here for me because you can find these at Michael's. Everybody has a Michael's in your, if you live in a large city. All right. Thank you, Marlene, for asking the question. I really appreciate it. I hope this helped. Um, those who are watching this video on YouTube, again, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you want to see me paint the rest of this painting, come join the Academy. I got a lot of videos showing you how to paint with acrylic, especially with the palette knife. That's my favorite tool. So um, come check me out. All right. See y'all later. Bye.